Hi everyone. It's Monday and we're back for another journaling, Bible journaling day in May. And the prompt today is motives, which I switched out for intention. And the verse I picked was Hebrews 4 verses 11 through 13. Therefore, let us be diligent to enter that rest, so that no one will fall through following the same example of disobedience. For the word of God is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword, and piercing as far as the division of soul and spirit, of both joints and marrow, and able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And there is no creature hidden from his sight, but all things are open and laid bare to the eyes of him with whom we have to do. I believe I took that out of the NIV, but I'm not 100% sure. So for this page, I just gave it a, a border. I drew on label paper and then just laid it out in the shape of a border. I was thinking maybe putting some color on it, if I could find my stickers. All right, how about some stickers? Oh, how about some irises? So here, the same example of disobedience is referring to the Israelites in the desert there, where they are not entering that rest. They're not trusting. When I read this yesterday, I was happy and encouraged to see this part again. I had, hadn't read it in a bit. The word of God is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword and piercing as far as the division of soul and spirit of both joints and marrow and able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Sometimes I wonder if my motives are right or, you know, if I did the right thing or, and I'm not saying we always know 100%, but we have to trust that he's leading and guiding and that whatever happened, happened for a reason. And as we read the word, as we are in relationship with him, he will show us. He will show us when we do something out of emotions or when we do something because it's the right thing to do. Because we're not supposed to be led by our emotions. We have them, but they're not to rule over us. We're supposed to walk in the spirit, which means basically to do what the word says. Anyways, that is what I got for today, and uh, I hope you have a great week. Be blessed in all you do, in Jesus' name. We'll see you again next time. Bye for now.